Let's now look at some of the basic things you might want to do when editing in Photoshop. First off, if you're working with multiple layers, and we'll be looking more at layers in the next video, you can show or hide layers just by clicking the little eye right there. So just hide that one. Now to work on a picture on a layer, just click on the layer and you can then work on that picture on that layer. I'm going to resize this one thing which you may want to do in with standard pictures here inside Photoshop. Go up to the edit menu. Again, make sure you're on the, the correct layer. Come down to transform and scale. And I now can drag these handles to change the size and the ratio. If you want it to stay proportional, go up here to the options bar and click on that little link right there that links the width and the height together. Now it's going to stay proportional as I drag this picture and change the size. I'll go just a little larger here so I can fill my whole screen area. There we go. Now again it's not going to set that in place until I click on the move tool and apply that transformation. There we go. So resizing easy to do as you can see. Real standard option. Now this just resizes just that one layer. Notice that it did not resize my other layer. So when you're working, you're working on a per layer basis. It gives you a lot of flexibility. Something else you might want to do in here is adjust the values in your picture. And you can do that under image and adjustments. Lots of stuff in here. Notice we do have some auto things here. Auto tone, auto contrast, auto color. Pretty much I stay away from those. I'll demonstrate these later on. I prefer a little more control over my options. Now the best tool easiest tool to work with when you want to adjust a picture or a photograph is the shadows highlights right down here. It's a great tool. Click on that and it brings up these shadows and highlights. Now automatically it goes through and does a quick adjustment. If I uncheck preview here, there's the original and here it is with the adjustment. It does a very good job of pulling out detail and with this tool you can adjust your shadows, your highlights and your mid-tone contrast and a little bit of color correction as well. Now, if you're not seeing all of this stuff, make sure that the Show More Options checkbox has been checked. Click on that, and you then have all of your controls. Without that, it's just real basic shadows and highlights. Now, to use these, just, just grab the controller and slide it around like that. You see, you can as you come in here and adjust the shadow areas and the highlight areas to get just the, the effect that you want. So, I'm darkening down the sky a little bit. That's where most of the highlight is lighten up the shadows, brings up my detail. And here's kind of what it was to begin with, with the detail, to get just the just the look that you want and choose OK. So it's just a couple examples of the kinds of basic photo editing that you can do in here. And again, those two options were Edit, Transform Scale for changing your size, and then Image, Adjustments, and shadow highlights. Now we'll come back, we'll go through all of these options in later videos and I'll show you how everything works. But those are some of your basic tools. Just gives you kind of an idea of the kind of things you can do here inside of Photoshop. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. If you like this video, click on the like button below to let others know. You can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I'm frequently uploading new training videos. Don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com. You can share this video with your friends and coworkers. Just click on share and then click on the social media buttons. Feel free to comment on my videos. I try to answer all comments as quickly as I can. And finally, you can get all of my training videos on DVD at howtogurus.com. Thanks again for watching.